Today is different than it's ever been. The numbers tell the story. 93,000 people have fatally overdosed nationally in the past 12 months. If we don't start educating people about what's going on with drugs today, we're going to lose a lot more. These numbers are going to go up and up and up. And they're going up due to drugs laced with a deadly amount of fentanyl. COVID came into the picture and everything else went to the back burner. People who were self-medicating with illicit drugs slipped further into isolation. The first time I tried heroin, I knew it was bad, but I didn't know to the extent. Because they're going to kill you. <laughs> Dominic was on his way to stardom when a friend offered him black tar heroin. Today, he gambles with death by using counterfeit drugs. And I knew it was bad, but I saw how intoxicated he was, and I wanted to be just that intoxicated. It's that high he's trying to leave behind. He's working with Carrie to change his life. Once people start using and experimenting with drugs, man, if, if, it's, if it's more than just an experiment, they're in trouble because emotionally and physically they're going to get addicted. It's that reason Dominic's talking about his feelings. Now that I'm sober, I could be in my dad's shoes and realize how traumatizing that is, and I feel bad for it. By dealing with life's troubles, the drug's grip loosens. You've been, you've been through a lot, haven't you? Carrie hopes that by using this method, he can keep Dominic off the list of 93,000. There is no drugs out there today that's not addictive. You want your kids using drugs like that? Not me. Reporting for Canyons News, I'm Lauren Hanna.